Traditionally, cashew is skewered onto a long fork and roast the inner of it. For today's recipe, no oven is needed. Cashew pork usually takes a few hours to cook. Today, I want to show you a super quick, easy, and approachable way to make cashew pork chop in just 30 minutes. To score the fat on the side of the pork, cut through every inch so it won't curl up. Then use the back of the knife to pound and tenderize the pork. To make the marinade, mix in the fermented red bean curd. It will give our cha shoe a beautiful red color. You can also replace it with red yeast rice or red food coloring. Also add the sauce of the fermented bean curd. Oyster sauce. Hoisin sauce. Soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Rose cooking wine. You can also use other cooking wine that you like. Or omit it if you can't consume alcohol. Also add sugar. Five spice powder. White pepper. And garlic. Whisk. Transfer the pork to a large Ziploc bag. You could also use a large mixing bowl. And pour in the marinade. Squeeze most of the air out of the Ziploc bag. And seal it. And just massage the meat for like five minutes. Rest for another five minutes. You could also marinate overnight for deeper flavors. In a pan over high heat, add the avocado oil or other cooking oil that you like. Place in the pork, reserve the marinade, and pan fry for 30 seconds on each side. Before pouring the marinade into the pan, add half cup of water in it first and mix well. Switch to medium heat, pour in the marinade, Cover the lid and cook for two minutes on each side. Over high heat, uncover the lid to reduce the sauce. The internal temperature of the pork is 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. Then pour in the maltose glaze. So I have here two tablespoons of maltose and two tablespoons of hot water. You can also replace it with honey. Cook for 30 seconds until the sauce is nice and sticky. It is a really quick and easy way to make chashu pork chops without sacrificing your time, the pork chops textures, and the taste. It is so good, such a good idea. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this type of recipes, quick and easy, comment below and let me know. And also subscribe and thumbs up. I will see you again in the next episode. Bye.